Hi, my name is Dominic, and today I wanted to talk about my first ever email exchange with Noam Chomsky. Now, this was about a year ago, and I was working on an assignment for school, and so I went on my uh, university's staff page, was looking through, uh, trying to find my professor's email, and I was like, huh, you know what? Noam Chomsky works at MIT, and I bet they have a staff page. So I looked it up, and sure enough, uh, Noam Chomsky's phone number and email are on there. So I saved it and decided to shoot him an email and basically ask him a question about a paper I was writing at the time. Now the nature of this paper was the rivalry between Joseph Stalin and Leon Trotsky during the Russian Revolution and the Russian Civil War that was following it. So the Russian Revolution was basically a revolution that occurred in Russia in 1917 that found uh, the previous monarchy, the czarist regime, that had existed for a few hundred years completely collapsed and saw the rise of the Soviet Union. And following that, there was a Russian Civil War that was following it between the Whites and the Reds, the Reds being the Bolsheviks and the Whites being the Tsar sympathizers. The Reds were led by Vladimir Lenin, Joseph Stalin, and Leon Trotsky. Now, after Lenin died, um, Trotsky was the favorite to take over, but, but due to a lot of cunning bureaucracy behind the scenes, Joseph Stalin ended up coming up and t becoming the dictator of the Soviet Union afterwards. And a lot of people always wonder, what if Leon Trotsky had taken the place that everyone thought he would? Um, so I decided to shoot Chomsky an email and I asked him, you know, I introduced myself and I said, good afternoon, professor. Hello, I'm a university student in Florida studying history and taking a special interest in modern history, more specifically communism. Given your vast knowledge and intellect on political history, I would like to know if you find Leon Trotsky to be an admirable figure. There was much controversy surrounding him given his opposition to Stalin, but many consider him to be a monstrous despot. What do you make him out to be? Thank you for your time, it is greatly appreciated. And he responded in 10 minutes <laughs> with a quick answer. He said, mixed story as always, he certainly wasn't a monstrous despot. Many crimes, but they do not reach those of many others. Ronald Reagan, take just one. Now there's a lot to digest there, but I want to, but my first gut reaction was to respond to him, thanking him for his quick response to me. And I basically asked him if Leon Trotsky had been taken over the Soviet Union like everyone thought he was going to. Uh, did he think he was going to be as bad as Stalin was? And Chomsky replied with a quick, no. <laughs> so, but I want to back up a little bit and talk about his comments on Reagan versus Trotsky, uh, which I found very interesting. And it made me look into uh, why he thinks that Reagan was a massive war criminal. And if you don't have to do much Googling to find Chomsky's opinion on that. Into my research, I found out that uh, Reagan had actually armed a lot of fascist dictators in South America during his time in office. And many of them were responsible for a massive amount of deaths. Now, he did this in effort to com combat the spread of communism that was taking place all over the world, in Asia, in Europe and in South America, right on America's doorstep. I guess my purpose for making this video was to, I guess, ask anybody else, what do you think about Reagan's crimes? Uh, does he deserve to be compared to someone like uh, Leon Trotsky? Do you think that Trotsky was a worse criminal than Reagan? Do you think Reagan was a worse criminal than Trotsky? What's your opinion on both of them, and how do you think they should be remembered? All right, thanks for watching, so let me know what you think.